Hello and welcome to the final video on painting the Tree of Life. So I'm starting with a bit of black and um, kind of just roughing in the branches. So as a symbol, the Tree of Life goes all the way back to ancient times. Uh, the oldest known example was found in an excavation in Turkey, which dates back to about 7000 BC. It is believed that the symbol spread from there in various ways. And a similar depiction of the tree was discovered in the Arcadians, which dates back to 3000 BC. The symbols depicted in uh, a pine tree because pine trees do not die. They stay evergreen. Uh, and those symbols are believed to be the first depictions of the tree of life. And the tree of life also has strong significance to the ancient Celts. It represented harmony and balance and was an, an important symbol in the Celtic culture. They believed it had magical powers, so when they cleared their lands, they would leave one single tree standing in the middle. They would hold their important gatherings under the tree, and it was a very serious crime to cut it down. And multiple cultures have different mythologies involving the Tree of Life. References to the symbol have been found in ancient Egypt, ancient Iran, um, ancient Mesopotamia, and many more places. The symbol was widely recognized and used in ancient cultures, so it's difficult to pinpoint its exact origins and how it spread throughout the world. And I'm just adding a little bit of purple or violet to the black. And everyone's tree will be different because every tree is unique. And most most of the tree of life is shown right in the center of um, an artwork, but I like to put mine off a little bit to one side. So it's visually, um, it's a little bit more interesting when it's not centered. And the tree of life is mentioned in the Bible in the book of Genesis. It is the tree that grows within the Garden of Eden and is the source of eternal life. There are several meanings behind the tree of life symbol in Christianity. Some believe it to be the symbol of humanity, free from corruption and sin, while others believe it to represent love. The tree is believed to have healing properties and its fruit grants immortality. And in Buddhism, the tree of life is known as the Bodhi tree and is believed to be the tree of enlightenment. It was under the tree that Buddha reached enlightenment, so it is seen as a very sacred symbol. And the tree of life is still a prominent symbol in the Celtic beliefs, 
and is depicted in multiple forms. They believe the roots represent the other world. The trunk represents the mortal world and connects the roots and branches, and the branches represent the world above or the heavens. And the tree of life is known as the tree of immortality in the Quran. It appeared in Eden and is the tree from which Adam and Eve ate after Allah had forbidden them from doing so. And in Judaism, the tree of life is what sustains and nourishes life. It stands in the center of a fruitful garden planted by Yahweh. Tree of Life is such a wonderful symbol. So I will just put on a little bit of music and let you continue to paint away your Tree of Life.
If you would like to receive parts one and two, which include a guided meditation, please sign up for my newsletter list and you will receive these gifts for free. Thank you.